Testicles, one, two, three. Testicles, one, two, three. Tackle junkies, what's going on everyone? Really appreciate you guys and gals for clicking on the video. A big shout out to Carl's for sponsoring today's video. In today's video, we are discussing some Plano Edge boxes and you guys can pick those up over there at Carl's. Um, member price is pretty, pretty solid over there. Of course, I have a discount code for you guys as well. It's members only, a one-time use only code. And if you guys have not uh, signed up before, it's a free 30-day trial. Uh, so if you don't like it, cancel it. It didn't cost you a dime and you can take advantage of those sales during the month. Plano Edge boxes. You guys know I love them, been using them for a while now, but there is one box in particular um, that I'm not a fan of. Now this particular box, I do believe, is discontinued. But I do believe they brought it out um, like in a different, I think it's called like the Flex crankbait box. I will say for a lipless box, lipless crankbaits, it was pretty solid. I didn't have too many issues with a lipless box. Um, the only other bait I put in here was jerkbait, but for whatever reason, the jerkbaits would come out or come up and then they would just get shifted around and, they, and they'd be all over the tops of the other ones. And that's another thing, you're kind of limited to how many fit in here. Uh, jerk baits, I had like 25 or so in here. Lipless, I had two rows of 17 and then eight. What would I have there? 17, 34, 42, something like that. I should be a teacher, I'm fast with math. <laughs> so I had like 42 lipless in here. Um, but the issue I had with the lipless is of course you push them down and let me just grab one and show you guys. Um, all of my lipless, really all of my crankbaits now, um, I have these hook bonnets on there. You guys have asked about these in the past. I do have a discount code for these as well, link down below. It's just nice to be able to pull one bait out of the box and they're not tangling up. Okay, we'll get to that too. But let me take these off here real fast and show you guys. But what you would do is just Get your bait, okay, and you would just pick a little slot there and, and push it down in there, okay? And like I said, a lipless being thinner, they stayed in there. I didn't have any of my lipless actually come out of the pegs and turn to the side and slide all around. But one issue I had with the lipless, and I'm sure it won't do it here because I only have one in here, but what would happen is the hook points would actually grab kind of like the bottom of those pegs, and then you couldn't get it out. It was like stuck in there, so I had to get a pliers, because you can't get your fingers in there, get a pliers and kind of pull it out. But what I went to for, I mean, I'm going to these boxes for basically almost everything, is the flex boxes, okay? I love these flex boxes. You know what the one issue I have with the flex box? Let me show you. It comes with so many dividers. This is the only issue I have with the flex box, is, when you're done, you have a ton of dividers left, depending how you're setting this box up. But like I said, that's not really a bad thing. They give you all the dividers you need to build the box that you want to build. Like you can see here, this is just a box of just some square bills, box of square bills there. And I just have one main divider here and then these three, three um, longer ones. And like in this box here, here's a lipless box. You can see here, I got, uh, what do I got here? I got two, two long ones and then a bunch of the shorter ones. So you can set these boxes up however you want. Here's another great example here. Um, this is what I've been doing the last couple weeks. Weather kind of changed around here. I thought we were like out of winter over the weekend. It wasn't even above freezing again. It was snowing, I mean, but water temps right now are 44. So things are looking good. I mean, of course you can catch fish in 44 degrees. I can't, I'm not that great of a fisherman. It needs to get around the 50 range for me, but next week or so, actually my birthday is um, Monday. So I'm hoping to get out on the boat on Monday, catch them or not. But anyways, you can see here, like here's a, a flat side box and baits that are kind of wider or taller, I guess you could say like a flat side. Like here's another great example here. Um, like the, um, those are what, uh, those are slims. Um, what are those called? Chick magnets, you know, they're a taller bait. You can only get so many in a smaller compartment. So I kind of just made a box out of those and I just threw them all in there. That way when you put them back or take one out, you're not trying to fit them all in a smaller compartment. It's just easier um, just to put them in, like I said, just a bigger square. So you can just take whatever. And you can see here as I'm grabbing any of them 
with the hook bonnets on there, your baits are not tangling, right? And like I said, the hooks are what's going to scratch up your baits. So like I said, during transit or whatever the case may be, while the baits are all jumping around in here, nothing's getting scratched up because I have hook bonnets on everything. Like I said, I can grab, you know, whatever bait I want in here and I'm only grabbing that particular bait. So all my hard baits have the hook bonnets on them. Now I haven't made up any of my top water boxes. I only made up uh, boxes that I'm using at the moment. So I got a couple of jerk bait boxes, a couple flat sides, a couple lipless boxes. And um, I got my bladed jigs made up. I got my terminal box made up. I think the only thing I want to make up next would be um, probably like a jig box that I'm pretty good for the beginning of the season here. But like I said, I just wanted to show you guys these boxes because the flex box, I mean, it's pretty dang awesome. Like I said, you get a lot of dividers. Um, that way you can make up exactly the footprint that you're looking for or that you need. And um, so yeah, I, I love these boxes here. And you can see like, here is the crankbait box, and here is the flex box. I didn't actually look at these two. These two, you can see, are the same, same size, right? So my jerk baits, I had uh, about 25, about maxed out on that. And here's the ones that I had in there, and I actually added more, um, roughly two, three, four, five, six. There's another five, 11, another three, 14. Um, so there's probably 30 plus in here because it's definitely five, yeah, probably 30 plus in here right now. And you can see there's room for more. You guys can see that plenty room in there uh, for more. So having the same thickness box, I can actually fit more jerk baits in here as well. You know, we got a good variety in here from shad wraps to um, the six cents. That's the Stunas, um, some Mega Bass over here, Strike King, uh, Lucky Craft, a nice variety in there. Like I said, I got plenty of room for more. So, I mean, I can probably fit, you know, 40 plus jerk baits in here versus 25 that I got in the, the crankbait box there. But, um, you know, lipless, here's a lipless box here. You know, I think I fit, uh, what I said earlier, 42, something like that. I put more of them in here than I had there. And again, you can see I got plenty of depth in some of these boxes to add even more. You could probably get, you know, 60 uh, lipless in here. You can get even more if you don't use the hook bonnets. But like I said, I, I just love grabbing just the one bait. And like I said, nothing's getting um, scratched up or tangled up and all that. So it's definitely worth the investment to get some, some hook bonnets. You can see here, the flex box and here is your standard box. So the flex box is a, a bit thicker and I really like that because on these boxes here, okay, if you're trying just to put, you know, three, four crankbaits, you gotta really kind of move them around and all that for the lid to close. Having the extra depth of the, um, the flex box. I mean, it's great. I mean, I love the flex box for my hard baits. And like I said, I like having the the bigger compartments, you know, like I did, um, like I did here, you know, with, these are all the Fritz sides, the, that's the, uh, the click in or the clack in, and there's the standard ones there. Um, the slims and all that, the bigger baits, it's just nice having that bigger area there, so you don't have to kind of like, you know, put them in a certain way for the lid to close. You have plenty of depth here, and like I said, you can just kind of make it your own, so. Anyways, guys, I guess it's kind of like a review on the flex boxes as well. I love the flex box. Played around with it a little bit last year. And like I said, I realized this is the box for me. You wanted the review on the box. There it is. Um, there it is. So if you guys like the video, be sure to smash the thumbs up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, if you guys like what you see, consider subscribing. I uh, would really appreciate that. Ring that bell that so we guys are notified. Um, for the next video and like I said if you guys are new to the channel we do a bit of everything on here we do some fishing we do some tackle reviews and tackle organization and tackle unboxings and boat videos I run a crest liner XF 189 if you guys are new to the channel as well I got some videos on that really looking forward to hopping to that here soon and catching some fish Hope, hopefully hopefully I, I do that on Monday I was hoping that I've already done that it hasn't happened yet and we're rambling on again it's time to go love you guys See you guys on the next one.